My most impactful performance of the weekend doesn't come on a track, <laughs> comes on the grass at the NFL fan experience in Atlanta, wow. Georgia, because nothing that happened this weekend had a greater impact on the perception of track and field mm -hmm. than That's Usain true. Bolt showing up in his Sunday casual brunch attire yeah. yep. and running a 4.2240. And there's been some questions about the timing because track people, we always want to know, is it legit? Is it official? It's in our nature. It's in our blood. Uh, that doesn't matter. I'm here to tell you that doesn't matter because people think it was legit. And as long as people think it was legit, um, they are incredibly impressed by this performance. The fact that it looked like he walked in off the street. Yeah. Like I said, he was wearing very, very casual shoes. <laughs> he crossed the <laughs> no line fight. and then immediately ran into a whole bunch of people that yeah. were like not giving him any room to run. So this was not optimal, uh, an optimal setup by any means for Bolt. And yet the reaction I saw online was people more impressed by this than him running 9.58. So we can't win with non-track people, so you might as well join them and say, yes, Usain Bolt is faster when he tied the fastest 40 yeah. yes. by a football player of all time. Obviously, Christian Coleman ran 4-1-2, a whole tenth faster with certified, legit timing mm -hmm. not too long ago. But I guess people needed more validation that Bolt was fast, and now they have it. Hasn't been training for at least a year. Yep, you're definitely right. It was really interesting to watch, and like you were saying, like, all the just all the hype was just coming from you know it's football and so they're watching the 40 and here Usain Bolt just casually walks in 4.22 ties the, the record and it's just like no big deal all right so I wonder what would happen now since he's done that are we looking for more guest appearances coming into the future Ooh, yes you know yeah I, would, I wish he was still running I mean that's what my, my biggest thing I wish he was still uh, because I it looked like he was wearing like Puma loafers. He were was. Those, yeah, I mean, those were not even, I didn't even think those were like tennis shoes. They were like, like casual. I don't know, he probably didn't have them tied. I mean, I think he was laughing the whole time while doing yeah. it. I mean, it, it, you know, on Twitter, it got a lot of play. On Flow Tracks, tweet alone, it's got like 9,000 retweets. It is kind of, I mean, it's cool to watch. Don't get, don't get me wrong. And it's a great takeaway. It definitely is something we'll remember for a long time the time Bolt rolled out of bed. And, uh, you know, I mean, it was a sponsorship obligation. I think he was with Gatorade. He was just kind of there and, probably didn't even expect to do it and was like, oh, I'll do it. And yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think the time was legit? I, I, have, I have no... I, I mean, guess I, what is a legit 40 time when it comes down to it, right? I'm not going to be the guy carrying the torch of the... I don't think that was timed correctly against Usain Bolt. I mean, you're right. The, 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 this Literally, probably the video of this got way more retweets than is like 958. I mean, I don't have any proof to back that up. <laughs> but it's I mean, it's great exposure for the sport, but the bummer is, you know, obviously he's retired, and I don't know if that'll necessarily get more eyes on track and field. But, I mean, in his day, I mean, I, I figured some nerd, I, I was looking on John Statman, maybe, maybe he would have had this up, like what his, like, fastest 40 split would have been in, in his 958 days with tra with spikes on the track. I'm sure it was like three something. Well, no, it's t it's slower because their reaction time is yeah. gauged into it too, which okay. throws the whole thing off. And then running 100. Also, I don't even know how many, you know, they have meter mo points set up, not yard points. Yeah, so yeah, like, I don't know how, how uh, you know, official that is. But you're right, we're missing the point, which is he ran it, people thought that's what the time was, and people retweeted it, which yeah. is crazy. Last two things that Bolt has done, stick with me on this one, guys. Retired from soccer, mm -hmm. yep. then shows up and runs a 4 2 2 I'm not saying he's primed for a comeback, <laughs> yeah. but if he is, he's given some signals here. He also released a champagne brand. Okay, ignore weekend. that one. Yeah. So let's ignore the champagne. Yeah. <laughs> let's just say he's quitting another sport and then putting his toe back in the water of his original sport. Uh, I, I just, I, the only, yeah, the argument you could have there is obviously he's still in somewhat decent shape. You know, he hasn't. Which is crazy. Put on 100 he, pounds. Yeah, he barely trained when he was running. But like, well, that will go nuts if he comes back. Um, oh, I know. I would it's be, gonna be insane. But pretty rough, pretty rough ending to his track career. Obviously, that's not what people will remember aside from me as a nerd watching him. You know. <laughs> but I don't know. I think he's done. But it would be awesome to see him oh, make man, a comeback. All right. So. You're already throwing cold water on my yeah. theory. All right.